Hello guys, I'm Vijayta Sharma from Gizbot and today I'm going to introduce you to one of the latest smartphones from Xiaomi which is the Redmi Pi 1. So let's go ahead with the video and find out how does the device fare against its competition and what does it take to beat it at a really subtle price point. So the Redmi Vibe sports a 5.5 inch FD IPS LCD display. It has a 16 megapixel front camera and is powered by Octa-Core Snapdragon 435 processor. It is coupled with 3GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage with memory card expansion option to up to 256GB. All the specifications are quite interesting and quite impressive. Well, the design is quite simple and looks quite elegant. It has the volume rocker along with the power toggle on the right side edge whereas the left side edge only houses the SIM tray. The rear panel has a fingerprint sensor right in the center along with the camera which is the rear camera and a single LED flash on the left edge corner. Now, the base edge of the device houses speakers and the micro usb 2.0 port the micro usb 2.0 port has been placed in the center where the speakers on the either sides of the uh, usb port now the top edge of the redmi y1 also houses a 3.5 mm audio jack along with what seems to be an infrared sensor for controlling your tv or the display of the device looks quite impressive it is not oversaturated and emits ample light which is ample amount of light so the display of the smartphone looks quite impressive it is not oversaturated at all and emits optimum amount of light for comfortable as well as healthy usage so you do not have to strain your eyes even if you are looking at your screen for a substantial amount of time the user interface is also quite impressive it is really simple to use and all the icons are flat bedded along with really innovative and new icon designs introduced on the smartphone. Well now talking about the camera of the Redmi Y1, I would say there is artificial creation of detailing but nonetheless it captures picture with optimum amount of exposure which really impressed me. The front camera of the smartphone on the other hand takes quite natural pictures with optimum amount of light and exposure whereas the saturation is quite natural. Well so to conclude I would say that the smartphone is quite handy although you'll have a little trouble in using its rod and a bit clumsy uh, design but on the other hand what you get for a really really impressive price point is a great performing camera, a really good front camera with natural detailing. You get a really nice user interface along with Android Nuga. Also you get a quick fingerprint sensor and a Redmi device. Well, if that's not enough, I don't know what is. So guys, that's all about the smartphone and I would also remind you this is just a first impression of the device. We will come up with a thorough review for you. And we'll also give you detailings of each and every feature of the smartphone. Also, I would like to say that Redmi is on fire these days with its latest offering in the market. So do check out our website and keep an eye out for all its uh, latest smartphones and reviews on our YouTube channel as well. So guys, that's all from my side on uh, Redmi Y1. I hope you really enjoyed the video. Do share it with your friends. Hit thumbs up button down below. You know the drill. So I'm Vijayta Sharma signing off from Gizbo. Thank you and have a great day.